Want to know how to get 60k coins and 3,000 gems in one hour? Well, make sure to watch this video to the end to find out how. Before the video starts, you guys smash the sub goal for 300 subs. So, a deal is a deal, and I will be giving away a upgrade time Sigma Man with Sniper on it right here. So, let's go ahead and take care of that first. Alrighty, so now we're on this wheel right here that has all the names, the Roblox names of everyone that entered. So, all you had to do to enter was like, subscribe, and comment down below your Roblox username. So, these are all the Roblox user names that entered. So, let's go ahead and spin and see who wins the upgrade time Sigma Man. Alright, the winner is noob one Bloxy, so I'm going to go ahead and contact this guy right now on my YouTube. Alrighty, and there it is. I just messaged him, so congratulations to noob one Bloxy. Alright, back to the video. Alright, so I'm not going to go inside of a game because the recording will bug out since you need to do this on two different accounts. So I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys all the steps to doing this. Alright, so the first step is you want to make sure you're playing on two different accounts, like I said. And you want to make sure that each account has the 20, has like the, um two times coin boost active the double coins potion active and if you come over here you want to also make sure that both of them have the link account coin boost active because this also gives you 25 percent more coins and then the second step is you want to make sure you're playing toilet town on hard or insane whichever one it is if you're doing insane you have to beat it within 10 to 13 minutes and if you don't then i would recommend going down to hard as it will benefit you more and beat that within like six to nine minutes around there then also one more key step is you want to make sure you're playing during the two times uh, like coins and gems event that happens after every update. So basically after the game updates every time they do a two times coins and gems for free that's just like automatically on for a little bit. Um, for like a few days they do it right. And you want to make sure you're playing a lot during those times because that on top of this 25% coin boost and the double coin boost that you pop it all stacks. So that's how you maximize the rewards. So on average within like 10 to 14 minutes on one of your accounts you should be able to get 6k coins and 300 gems now multiply this by two since you're doing it on two accounts you should get 12k coins and 600 gems and if you're beating the toilet town map every 10 to 13 minutes on insane mode then you'll probably be able to get five in within an hour so multiply these numbers by five and that's where you get the 60k coins and the 3000 gems from Alright, so that's basically how you get 60k coins and 3,000 gems in one hour in a nutshell. But I have some tips for you guys. So the first tip is on the units. So you want to make sure your one of your accounts has, well, both your accounts should have a farm. Then both your accounts should have a starter unit. One of them should have like a start start unit, and the other one should have like a starter to mid unit. And then both your accounts for the other three can have like any other mid to end game unit. But I would not recommend all cosmics as this will be too much like too expensive and it will like make you lose trust me because i've tried this before so don't do all cosmics the next tip i have is so after you beat toilet town the map you want to make sure instead of hitting replay you want to do return to lobby and make sure you're in the same party as well because for well for two reasons first reason is that the link accounts thing goes away after every time you play it even if you hit replay in there the link accounts thing will go away so you'll have to reactivate it again and the second reason is that every time you beat this map you have to hit replay which has a 20 second countdown now this countdown will not go down if everyone raises up it will still just stay at 20 and go down by seconds so it is probably faster for you to return to the lobby and then do the link counts thing and then go back in that way you maximize how much time you're spending in the game to in correlation to how much gems and coins you're getting and that will help you maximize your gems and coins another tip i have for you guys is so with your quests and pass so now don't focus on these but if they are pretty easy like when a game with over 100k cash unspent then do them beat a match on same with four players yeah those ones are easy you can go ahead and do those when a game of when when a game with 1.5 speed or higher and auto skip that's easy you can probably go ahead and do that and also the pass but the pass isn't here yet will also give you xp so sometimes there'll be quests so you can go ahead and do those quests too sometimes they make you do different maps I would not recommend doing turbulent trains on insane because it will drive you insane. So yeah, just don't do it. But besides that, that's pretty much it. But to sum up everything I said, so you need to have two accounts. Both accounts need to have the double coins potion on. They need to have the link account 25% boost on. 
and you have to be playing on Toilet Town, either on Hard or Insane. And you have to be playing during the two times coins and gems event that happens after every update. And yeah, that's pretty much the strategy on how to get 60k coins and 3k gems every hour if you grind correctly. But that's pretty much it. Peace.